Maya Angelou was quoted as saying that people will forget what you said, people will forget what you did, but people will never forget how you made them feel. In this video, I want to provide you six tips to making an unforgettable first impression that can be used for just about any encounter, from a job interview to a date to a potential meeting with a client. All of these things are backed by research, and at the end of the video, I will reveal one thing that you should never do. According to Harvard social psychologist Amy Cuddy, people judge others on two main qualities worldwide. They judge on warmth and competence. Warmth is essentially your perceived friendliness and, and your perceived trustworthiness, and competence is your perceived skills. Um, these have been determined to be universal dimensions that cut, that cut across cultures. Now you may find it interesting that according to a 2006 study by Princeton University, it only takes one-tenth of a second to make a snap judgment on someone's trustworthiness and attractiveness based on facial appearance alone. And that once that impression is formed, it's been proven that it actually doesn't change dramatically over time. So if trustworthiness is judged so quickly, I think it's important that we uh, take a look at this factor first. Jonathan Freeman, the assistant professor at NYU's Department of Psychology and a team of researchers, they conducted a study exploring factors that determine trustworthiness and a person's perceived competence based on facial appearance alone. They showed participants uh, a set of computer-generated faces that slowly evolved from being slightly happy to slightly angry. And what the team found was that the happier the face appeared, the more likely the individual was perceived to be trustworthy. But what I find really interesting is that um, they didn't find any correlation to perceived ability between happier or angrier faces. In other words, uh, skill is really hard to make a snap judgment on. So with that being said, um, here are my top tips to making an unforgettable first impression. Number one, uh, the first thing that you should do when you meet someone is you should smile. Um, it's been proven that smiling faces have a higher association to trustworthiness and that um, this is one of the factors that leads to uh, one of the quickest snap judgments. So it seems simple, right? But Sometimes a person's nervousness will uh, show through and they forget to present a genuine smile. Number two, good grooming. Now, facial attractiveness was judged within a tenth of a second, but there are other factors that will increase your perceived attractiveness. According to a team of researchers in 1997, they uncovered that the most attractive features outside of simply looking at one's face fell into the category of self-care, like uh, good grooming, neat hair, nice fitting clothes, good posture, and they said being of a healthy weight. All right, number three, dress for your audience. Um, I guess this could be considered a part of good grooming, but I think it's important uh, as a standalone item. If this is a uh, job interview, for example, at a startup where everyone wears t-shirts, it might not exactly be appropriate to come in with a suit. So um, you can dress up, but don't overdo it. Now that we have the first tenth of a second nailed down, we can move on to other factors that can also assist in creating an unforgettable first impression. Number four, let the other person speak first. You can do this by asking them a question that's thoughtful. Now, if it's a job interview or, or even a date, uh, do some re research on the other person and not like stalker research and creepy. Uh, just see if the person's on Facebook or on LinkedIn. Uh, try to find some similarities. Does a person like cycling or is their favorite book the same as yours? Uh, maybe they went to the same school as you and you can share a funny story about that right off the bat. By doing this, you're helping to solidify trust and this is critical to making an unforgettable first impression. All right, number five. Listen when the other person actually responds to your questions. Um, you actually have to listen to what they're saying and we oftentimes get so caught up in our own nervousness that we don't pay attention to what the other person's saying to us. So to really be a good listener, you have to focus on um, being present, being present in the moment. Number six, body language. 
People show their emotions through their facial expressions, through their posture, their walking style. So pay attention to these things. Uh, is your posture open or are your shoulders and neck hunched forward? Um, is your walking style open and confident uh, or is it narrow and small? All right, so here's the last tip and I think this is one thing that you should never do when trying to make a great first impression. Never wrap your hand around the back of your neck. Uh, people have a tendency when they're sitting down to do this and it conveys a sense of powerlessness and insecurity. It's literally an animal instinct to protect yourself from predators. Um, all right, that's all I got for you today. I hope these tips will help you make an unforgettable first impression and become one step closer towards being uncommon by design. Before you go, I have, I have a question for you. I'd love for you to share a time that you were trying to make your first impression or someone was trying to make a first impression on you that ultimately didn't go so well. Um, leave it in the comments below. I'd love to hear it. Um, also, don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button right now if you found this helpful. Okay, so last thing, I'm gonna be making some new uh, Uncommon by Design shirts with the Origami Bird logo front and center. If anybody's interested, leave a comment below. Uh, these, are, these are not gonna have uh, the, the John Marty uh, real huge on them. Unless you want one like that, just let me know. I'll get you one like that too, but uh, I figured you probably wouldn't want a shirt with, uh, with my name sported real huge on it. So uh, that's all I got for you. Thanks a lot.